Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to check our status page. Now, on most routers, your status page will be called exactly that, the status page. What the status page does is it shows us the connection status of our router to our internet service provider and to our local network. Now, if you look in here and you see all zeros down here, you know something is wrong. What's wrong is for whatever reason you have not connected to your internet service provider, which means you need to double check the settings you just entered in your setup section. These buttons down here give us the ability to either disconnect or reconnect to our ISP. We can do this for troubleshooting purposes or whatever reasons we ha may have at the time. DHCP release releases our IP address and our connection back to the ISP whereas DHCP Renew restores our connection by going out and requesting an IP address from the internet service provider again. So everything on the internet side of a router looks pretty good so far. If we click on local network, what we get is settings that we should already be familiar with while we were setting up the LAN side of a router. This is the MAC address of the IP address that we use to log into the router. And here's the IP address, subnet mask. Yes, we have enabled the DHCP server, and then it gives us details of our DHCP scope. DHCP client table. If we want to see what machines or what devices are currently connected to our router, this is where we want to look. So what this tells me is right now I have three computers that are turned on and plugged in using cables to the wireless router. And if we go to the wireless status, what will we find? What we'll find is it's been disabled, meaning we have not set it up yet. We're using channel 6, which we'll discuss a little later. Our current SSID is Linksys, which in the case of this router is the default. You definitely do not want to leave the SSID at its default. What this does is it broadcasts to the entire world that you've done absolutely or next to nothing to configure security on your router. That makes you the lowest hanging fruit and a potential easy target for war drivers and wireless hackers. And the mode is B and G mix, which we'll discuss in a few minutes. And our wireless MAC address is this. So the reason I dragged you through all this is if sometime in the future you're having an internet connection issue and you don't know whether the issue is your internet service provider or your router or where to begin in terms of troubleshooting, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your status page and make sure that you have a connection to your ISP and something did not change on your local network. Of course, you can always go to your wireless settings to determine if something has changed there as well.